Hey guys, how's it going? It's Molly. I'm here today to chat with you about my current favorite products and maybe some other things. I don't know. We'll see if I if I get to it. Um, but before we get started, let me just introduce myself. If you are new here, hi, my name is Molly. I'm a busy mother of two uh, and makeup is self-care. I absolutely love makeup um it brings me joy i yeah it, it just it brings me joy so if if you also enjoy makeup and you're interested in hearing just an everyday person's thoughts and opinions on things or whatever uh you should subscribe okay so let's go ahead and jump into uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and more 10 plus products that I have in front of me. So some of these things are in my project pan um, and have become favorites. And so, which is good. Like that's what you want to have happen with a project pan. Cause if you're going to be using it until you hit pan, you better like it. Right? Right. So I, I don't know, should I do it? I'm like, I could do it in order, but I also, that takes brain power that I don't know that I have on a Monday morning, uh, especially considering the lack of sleep that happens in this household right now. I have a two year old, um, and he is, we are in the thick of it with the two year sleep regression. This is bonkers. So I'm really tired is what I'm trying to say. Anyway. Um, so it, this is not going to be in any order. This is just random whatever I choose to talk about first. So first up, we've got the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I do really like this. I have kind of been on the like no primer kick for a really long time. I was um, very much like they don't do anything. I don't notice a significant enough difference, yada, yada, yada. Uh, well, it depends on your foundation, truly. And I know that now. I knew that then, I just didn't, I wasn't thinking about that then. Um, with the foundation that I'm going to talk about, it probably wouldn't be a favorite if it wasn't for this. This is phenomenal. Um, so it's just, it's, I don't know, man, it's a nice, like moisturizing primer. And I like that. I love, I love to pair this with a fuller coverage foundation because it just helps the foundation not look to be too much. You know what I mean? When it's just cakey and clearly you have a lot of foundation, but you would like your skin to look like skin. Uh, this is your jam. It's, it's really good. It is gone and that makes me sad. So spoiler alert, it was in my project pan and now it, it's one of the things that I can count towards my 22 products in 2022, which was a lofty goal. Let me just tell you. Um, next up, Foundation. So the foundation that I like to pair that with is this pure four in one love your selfie foundation. This is a long wear foundation and concealer, high coverage, relatively matte. I mean, it's not like matte matte, but it's, it's some, in my opinion, it falls kind of between a matte and a demi matte. Like it's somewhere, maybe it is a demi matte. Maybe this is demi matte. We'll go with that. Um, so it's not super heavy, but I prefer it with a moisturizing primer. Now, since that one's gone, I've been using it with this Touch and Soul Glassy Skin Balm. This is not as good as the Marshmallow Primer by NYX for this purpose. This is probably good for something different. A glassy skin effect, if you will. This is almost too emollient for this. Like it kind of doesn't wear as well. You know what I mean? So this is not a favorite. It, I mean, it. I like it. I really do. I actually, I think this has been a favorite in the past, but this is not part of this video. Disregard. Anyways, this foundation would not be a favorite if it wasn't for a proper base, but paired with a moisturizing primer, um, it looks like this on my face. Like it's just, I'm wearing it today and it's, it's gorgeous. Like it, it evens out my skin tone in a really nice way. It's a good shade match for the most part. It might be slightly too light for me at this point. I did just go on vacation and got a little bit tan cause I was on a sailboat. Uh, but it, you know, or a schooner it wasn't a sail, but there were sails involved. It was wide. So I think it was called a schooner schooner. I don't know. I was on it though. And it was a lot of fun. Um, but anyway, this is, it's, it's really pretty with the right stuff. Okay. Coffee. Ooh. 
Okay, I shouldn't even complain. My husband got up with my son during the night last night. Bless his heart. Um, but I had to get up super early with him this morning. That's another story. Anyway, uh, powder. I didn't, Do I want to include this as a favorite? It's just a powder. Hang on, I have another foundation that I forgot about. We'll get to the powder in a minute. This is the Uma. Uma Beauty... Uh, say what weightless soft matte hydrating foundation it is all of those things it is weightless you I don't notice it on my face although I think my face is just like desensitized to the feeling of having product on it at this point um soft matte yes I would agree it is a soft matte it's not luminous it is soft matte um hydrating mm, I guess I don't know about that part but I'll take their word for it so it it's medium to full coverage. I like that. It's just a very versatile product. And I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan. And the packaging is really nice. It's glass. Uh, it's got a nice pump at the top. Uh, I just, yeah, I'm, I really am happy to have this. Uh, I think this the shade match is a little too light for me at this point so I'm thinking maybe next month I'll be using this more once my vacation tan fades a bit but it is it's beautiful your skin just looks healthy and all the pigmentation is evened out it's good um, okay powder Is this a favorite? This isn't even a favorite, but I'll tell you about it because I might as well. But the ABH Loose Setting Powder and Translucent. I think this is just like a little travel, like try, it was a twofer. Like you got, it was a kit that had this and a mini setting spray. This is a mini, my God, words are hard. Um, but I do really like this. I do, I do. Sometimes with loose powders, you can go a little overboard, and I'm sure you can with this too, but I feel like it just helps blur everything and meld everything together, and I do appreciate that. I do. I haven't noticed that my make like my makeup seems to last really well with it. Now, I haven't compared it with any other powders, um, but... I do, I do like it. I think the reason I am hemming and hawing about whether to include this is because it's a powder and I don't, well, powders aren't my, like I'm not, I'm not obsessed with powders. Uh, I'm obsessed with eyeshadows and blushes and make like uh, pretty much, uh, I think powder might be, like, it might rank last in the lineup of things that I love. Okay. Speaking of powders, this, I know I've talked about this before in other favorites, but it is still a favorite. This is the NYX HD Finishing Powder in the shade Banana. I use this as my under eye setting powder. It brightens and it looks beautiful. You can go overboard and then it gets crepey and weird under there. So I recommend just using a very little bit. Um, but if you need like a lot of brightening power, use like a damp sponge and tap that on, amazing. Um, but that is generally where it gets a little bit creepy if you're not careful. So anyway, that's that. Now, blush. This, this, this is a like, f yeah, this is a big time favorite. This is, and I, oh man, I just realized I don't think it's available anymore, I'm sorry. But the Tinkerbell, blush in the shade the color pop super shock cheek in darling it's the one of the blushes that was with the tinkerbell collection first of all can we see do you see the dip i've been using the crap out of this now that's easy to do you it's easy to get a dip with a super shock i will admit that all right because it just kind of like pushes the product up but i mean this she's beautiful She's beautiful. You can't, oh, I just hit pan. It doesn't mean anything, I know. But this is the blush I have on today. Oh, it's so pretty. It's such a gorgeous fall blush. It's nice and warm toned. It's luminous. Oh, it looks kind of patchy on this watch. And I, you know, I know that, but it's, I don't know. It's fine. 
It's so pretty. So, so pretty. I can't stop using it. I, anytime that I'm doing a warm tone eye look, which is most of the time, especially in the fall, I'm, I'm using this and I, I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm going to be really sad when it's gone because this I will use up. <sighs> I can't think about that. <laughs> it bums me out. Um, okay. And then the other blush that I've been really loving for like, if I'm doing a cooler tone look or just want a more neutral blush is this one's classic Tarte Exposed. It's just a perfect nude blush. I don't know. Do I have a finger that I can swatch it with? Maybe. Do I have anywhere to swatch it? Can you see that? No, not really. Uh, but it's it's gorgeous on the cheeks. And I have found like I kind of have to build it up a little bit to get an impactful blush. But that's also, that's good. With a blush, you want something that's going to be like pretty subtle and you can build it up as you want it where, versus just boom, there it is. You know, you don't want it to be too crazy. Okay, and then highlighter. Um, the highlighter, I, this, I was thinking about keeping this in for my project pan and then I decided to choose something different. Good story. Uh, but this is the Winky Lux strobing balm in the shade bubbles. Okay. It's gorgeous. That's it. It's so, so, so pretty. It's just a, oh. There's like no glitter, no chunky glitter. It's very, very flattering. You can sheer it out for just a subtle highlight, but then you can really build it up for something that's a little bit more beaming without the glitter. The highlight that I've been using lately because I wanted to bring it into my shop, my stash, is ColourPop Flexitarian. I just really love the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek products. Um, but this definitely has glitter in it more significant but they're very similar in tone i would say yeah there they are swatched side by side they're very very similar um but i like the winky lux one better just because it blends out even better which i mean let's face it these blend out beautifully but this is amazing. Plus the packaging is just adorable. It's just this cute little compact. I got this at Target and it's got these flowers on it. I know, I know. You see the flowers? Oh, they're so pretty. It is really pretty. Um, and I'm into it. Okay. Mascara. No. Yes. Like my ride or die mascara is the L no essence lash princess. Love it. However, it's very rarely in stock in any store that I go to. Um, I'm pretty sure my Ulta, like it's never in stock there. So I have to order it and that's not always convenient. Um, so my, I would say this is a good like runner up. This is the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara. This is really nice. I love the brush. It's got one of the, like the natural bristle brushes you cannot see that one of these guys very um a la two faced better than sex like that type of brush i i like i prefer that to like the plastic brushes um this is it's very volumizing it takes a couple of coats like your first coat you're going to be like well, this is kind of not very good uh build it up Trust me, it gets better and it is really, really nice. Um, it stays all day. It doesn't flake, doesn't transfer. It just, it's its a good mascara. I do really like it and I love that it's drugstore. I, mascara is something that I really hesitate to buy high-end versions because three months you gotta throw it away and you're not gonna use all of that. So why spend 20 to 30 plus dollars on a tube of it, right? Don't you know? Okay, now I've got some eyeshadow. I do have a palette, this one. <laughs> um, I feel kind of silly sharing it because it's um, it's old. Like there's, there's nothing new about this, but it's the ABH Modern Run. I, I love this. It's fantastic, especially for fall. I've been, I, I decided to bring this into my shop. My, no, no. 
project pan. I keep saying shop my stash for project pan and vice versa, vice versa, vice versa, whatever. Um, so you can't tell, but I've hit pan. When I first started using this, I'd only hit pan on Cypress Umber, but I've hit pan on several other shades at this point, And that makes me really happy. But I love using golden ochre as like my initial transition shade. And then going in with burnt orange to deepen up the crease just a little bit, add in either red ochre or Venetian red or, oh, this real gar shade. Oh my, this is what my fall dreams are made of. Like I freaking love this. And then I can deepen things up even more in the outer V with Cypress Umber if I want to. And then what I've liked to do is then use my next favorites and that's some single shadows that um, I'm going to talk with you about in just a minute. But anyways, these, they're great. This is a really old palette. It's, I bought this for my wedding and I've been married for five years, okay? Obviously I'm not following the guidelines for like expired makeup. It's only, it's got a six month shelf life, whatever. It still works just fine. It's, it's gorgeous. Some of the shades are maybe, I don't know, like the antique bronze shade. This, uh, I remember this being better than it is now, but that's fine. Um, the rest of them are performing just as well as they ever did. And so therefore I'm happy that I have this, but yeah, I've been loving the mattes in here. They just, they blend great. They do. Sometimes some of the ABH palettes that I have, just the mattes are a struggle. Like I feel like subculture on, the mattes got weird. I don't know what happened. They're not as good, but well, I don't know. Soft glam was good. Was that before subculture though? I can't remember. It's been so long. But then the shimmers that I've been using a lot of, are in this custom palette that I'm not going to show you right now because I'm actually going to feature it for my November custom palette. That was something that I was going to start in October, um, but I just never got around to it. So I've kind of been working on picking some shadows. Uh, it's not finalized yet, but I do have some really beautiful shades in front of me. Um, so some of the shimmers that I've really been loving are these two. I believe they're both from let me look i think terra moons or it could be look see sometimes you get those two confused ah look see let me just pull out the ones that i'm going to talk about okay these are both from look see first of all look see is like two dollars a piece um the darker shade is adorbs so it's the one on like here closest to my wrist that's adorbs and this golden shade is Twinkle. I love pairing these two together. I'll put adorbs like mostly all over my lid and then Twinkle on the inner portion of my lid. It's gorgeous. I've also, and this, this next shade is one that I'm, I have on my eyes today. It's Davina Cosmetics in the shade Chromosphere. Oh my God. It's this incredible green. I don't, I hope that you can see it. I don't know. It's like a, it's a shifty, it goes from green to gold to like copper. It's really, really pretty. The lighting in here sucks because it's cloudy out and everything is, everything is wrong, but that's fine. Um, for just a simple everyday lid shade, I've been loving this one from Sydney Grace. This is in the shade Blushed. And that's the top one there. It's just very, very pretty. Um, and then for something a little bit more fun, this one from Terra Moons, this is the shade Moontide. Um, I don't know if I have any fingers left to swatch with, but that's fine. And this one also is like a multi-chrome. It's kind of purple, blue, green, very, very pretty. Okay, so those were my favorites. Um, I, I feel like it was more than what I would normally include, but it's just been so long and there's been some things from the summer that I really wanted to talk about and some current things and so here we are. Um, if you guys enjoyed, I hope that you guys will subscribe before you go, give me a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye.